The second approach is the dorsal approach, and the dorsal approach is my favorite approach. Uh, because you can really see well the insertion uh, of the distal biceps tendon to the radial tuberosity. And the patient position has also a really cool name, and that is the cobra uh, position. So the patient is seated again on the other side of the table, leaning on the olecranon uh, and placing uh, the hand in this uh, pronation. Um, and this makes sure that the uh, dorsal part uh, uh, is opened up of uh, the arm and that you can really see the insertion of the distal biceps tendon. You can see in the other one, the ventral approach, you could not see the insertion, but this is really focusing on the insertion. So the transducer is being placed on this dorsal aspect of uh, the elbow in transverse view. And what we can see now is uh, we can see the uh, ulna right here, and this is uh, the radius. Uh, so this is the uh, uh, radio ulnar joint with in between we can see the distal biceps tendon uh, inserting to the radial tuberosity. And the cool thing is uh, with this uh, transducer position that we can look at it from a dynamical perspective. So we can rotate the transducer and see again the distal uh, biceps tendon uh, uh, stretching uh, uh, at its insertion meaning that we can see it we can see that it has been stretched so it is there it is not torn um, we're going to scan this distal biceps tendon a little bit more to uh, towards the table and a little bit uh, in the other direction so that we can see the full fibers of this distal uh, biceps tendon insertion. We're not only assessing uh, so the static uh, position, we're also going to uh, see the uh, dynamical uh, position and what you're going to pay attention to is do, as, do you see the tendon? Do you see also a bursa? Uh, so the bicipitoradial bursitis could also be present and do we see any signs of impingement which could also happen in between the, um, uh, the radius uh, and ulna within the radio ulna joint due to, for example, a calcification. Having checked this in this longitudinal position, we could uh, turn the transducer in longitudinal. All right, if you, if you can keep it like this, Tom, right. Um, now we can see that uh, this is again the radial tuberosity. And um, uh, the previous one was the longitudinal view on the fibers. This is a transverse view on the fibers. And what we see is that at the level of uh, the insertion, that this is the transverse view on the full insertion of the distal uh, biceps. So these are all transverse distal biceps uh, fibers. And you can see how yeah, wide this insertion to the radial tuberosity um, is. So with this dorsal approach, you can see um, the full insertion to the radial tuberosity.